I was running inside of the shadows. Like a wolf who was racing. What a beautiful day. Oh, I believe, wow. I believe, I believe in the feel in the feel. Hello everyone, Dan Her Dan Her Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I'm hiking in right now to my infamous Pickerton claim. I have the metal detector with me, the gold bug too. There were three signals I detected, oh, probably a year ago now, that I left in place for another day. Well, today is another day. I'm gonna go see what those signals were, see if I can come out of here with a couple pickers. Pickerton never disappoints. Wish me luck. Hope you enjoy. March 9th right now. And it looks like we are in full-blown spring mode uh, here on the Fraser. So I found my first signal of the day. Right in that little crack. It's a big signal, so it's probably just a piece of wire or a nail or something. But it's worth checking out. It's in a place that's known to have gold. I found lots of pickers right around here. Right there. Let's go get my tools and see what we find. Nice looking material in the tack. I'll get the easy picking stuff out first into my pan, then I'll wave the metal detector over it one more time and see if the material, uh, the signal is in my pan or still in the crack. Good news is I haven't seen any nails down here. Okay, it seems like it's in my pan. It's in my pan. Let's go see what it is. Now the odds are this is just going to be a piece of steel or wire or bullet shell or something. Because every signal you get is not a chunk of gold. But let's see. Such a small amount of material, I'm not really even going to pan it. I'm just going to get everything clean, wash off the mud, and see what we're setting off the detector. Well, it wasn't a piece of gold. No, there is a speck of gold, but uh, that is not what was setting off the detector. Whatever it is, it's not visible in here.
Well, might as well suck up the gold I do have and go back at it. Ho hum. <laughs> well, that crack didn't show very much, so I got another signal right beside it. What is that? Two feet away, and I dug it all out, waved my detector over the pan. It was definitely in the pan. Right there. It's not there anymore. Started picking around. It was a big enough signal in the pan. I thought for sure it was a nail. And what did I find? Tell me when you see it, because you should see it from back here. Gold! In the classifier even. Didn't even get into the pan. Look at that flake! Welcome to Pickerton! <laughs> oh, Petey's gonna be so upset. Last time we were working, Pete didn't find much. He was working right there, five feet away from that amazing flake. Is that my first Pickerton Picker of this year? Nope, Pete and I were here. We had a few already. Well, let's see if there's any more signals on that bedrock. <laughs> okay, got another signal. Again, really big signal. So most likely a nail. But that's what I thought from the last one too. Let's dig it and find out. So the signal's in my pan, and I've picked all around where the signal is, and I've looked through all this stuff, and because it's a big enough signal, it's a big piece of metal and I can't see it, so it's not gold. Though I will leave it in my pan. When I pan it out, maybe it'll prove me wrong, but I'm just gonna go find my next signal now. Leave that in my pan for now. signals I put in my pan, ready to go down and pan out, but I didn't see any big chunks go in. This one here, I like because of how quick of a sound it is. Zip, zip, zip. Gold and non-ferrous make that real zip sound. So let's go see what it is. This is where that little Felton detector would be really handy. Just get in there and pinpoint it exactly. I didn't bring it with me today. So again, I'll get the majority of the material out of the spot I think it is. Then I'll bring the detector back over it and see if I have it in my pan. And I'm getting enough stuff in my pan now, I won't be able to dig through it to see if it was in there, so I'll have to go pan it out. Ooh. Pocket is behind here, nice. Hmm. 
Welcome to Pickerton. Da. Well, I hope it's in my pan. Let's go pan it out and find out. Then I'm going to detect along the water's edge and see what's down there. Because it's really low water right now. So that, there's that signal that I definitely saw go into my pan. It's a rusted old nail. Or screw or something. Some rusty piece of iron. There's a bunch of little stuff. Like lots of little stuff up there. But yeah, I'm looking for the big pieces today. I'll just leave that in my pan, maybe suck it up later. So I had a signal in this little hole, shade here, a signal in that little hole. When I moved the rock that was sitting right there, I found there's all sorts of this material. So I'm just putting it all in my pan and hoping that the signal is going with it. Strangely enough, when I moved the rock, the signal kind of disappeared on me. I did clean off the rock, it wasn't on that, but there was a signal, let's see if all this mud that's in here, and there's a lot down the bottom, holds something exciting. Whatever it was, I didn't find it. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> Found my signal. Zipper anyone? So here's one of the signals that I found last year that I left. It's right on bedrock. Bedrock's right below me there. I think I dig down and see if it's just a chunk of metal or if it's a chunk of metal. Not quite a zippy zippy sound, but let's check it out. Ooh. Already I can tell you it's a hot rock. It's that chunk of rock right there. Ah. Hot rocks are rocks that have minerals in them that set off a metal detector that aren't necessarily gold. There's not many on this claim, but every once in a while we find one, they look just like that. Now here's another signal I knew I'd come back for. Not much of one. But let's see. I'll dig that out, it's easy. Put it right in my pan. And there is one picker in it. Though I don't know if that's a big enough picker to set off the metal detector. It would have had to been right on the surface for that guy to set it off. It's also a bunch of little flake, but one picker. That was a weird sort of weak signal anyways. So it's possible that was doing it. Let's suck that up and continue. Nice flakes, but no pickers. Well, one good picker, one nice picker, right at the beginning, and then poof, Pickerton almost skunks me again. It's getting late in the day. I'm just playing around a little bit here. I'm tired of metal detecting and not finding anything. Well, found a few hundred nails, a couple tin cans, a few pieces of the railroad wires, tin foil, everything but gold. Let's see if we can end the day with one last piece of gold. And no one did plant anything here. I don't know what's gonna be in this pan. Could be a lot of 
thought could be nothing. Still some clay left on some of these pieces. in here, I have to break it up a bit. I'm doing that or trying to cut my hand all up? I don't know. It was bigger than that. I love how relaxing sitting in a creek is. Oh, I lost the rest of my son! One really nice piece today. I should be happy with that. I was running inside of the shadows Like a wolf who was racing the storm Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe In the feeling, the feeling, the feeling I believe, I believe, I believe I've got fire inside my blood I have lost my son. It is now gone. And considering that it is still early March, so technically still winter, it is getting cold out here. So it is time for me to head off. I will show you some really nice pictures of that gold when I get home to the nice camera and the nice lighting and everything. Uh, Pickerton pickers are amazing, for sure. On that note, Remember, I do sell pay dirt now, and my pay dirt does have unsearched dirt from Pickerton here. So, there's a chance you could get one too. If you're new to my channel, I have hundreds of more videos that I've made in the past. Go check them out. And I will be making hundreds more in the future. So, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode. I also have lots of behind the scenes footage and the stuff that doesn't make it onto my YouTube videos on Instagram and Facebook. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, please leave me a comment. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And until the next one, everyone. Bye.